Glory to Jesus Christ. When we read the lives of the contemporary saints, we can find a common thread within their lives. And this common thread is that they always struggled to find a spiritual father at the beginning of their journey towards holiness. The very first step is to firmly make a decision. Yes, I want to live a life with Christ and follow his commandments. This step must happen before finding a spiritual father. But then, when we, when we make this step, the search for a spiritual father starts. A spiritual father starts. So these saints made a firm decision at the beginning to follow Christ's commandments, and then they began to beg God for a guide so they can learn the law of God. It is easier said than done. Most of the times, they could not find one. So what did they do? They turned to the writings of the saints whose writings were focused on the systematic growth on spiritual life. They would take that saint and they would meditate on their words and follow their directions as if that saint was still alive and standing next to them and teaching them. It is literally the same thing as we do during our book study on Monday evenings. We don't come to the book study of St. Ignatius and then say, oh, I read that book. No. We choose him to be our spiritual father. We come and we sit by his feet. We listen to his teachings. We might read a paragraph or two and then go home. But when we go home, we go home with the thought of obedience and promise that whatever we have learned in that book study we will apply within our hearts and try to live it out every single day for the rest of our lives. We have to be careful about and be patient with, with these kinds of teachings because they need time to root themselves within our heart. They won't grow right away. Some of these teachings of spiritual life will need some time to grow before we see any fruit. And some teachings will come naturally and we will see fruits right away. We must put full trust into the spiritual father to be obedient to him and let him take our hand and lead us. That is the only way how we can move towards our spiritual life and towards God. The times did not change from back in the past where we read from all the monks and now. There's no difference. It is still difficult to find a spiritual father who can guide us and who is within our living proximity. If we truly want to start life in Christ, we must enter the same thread of finding a spiritual father as any of the modern day saints who had troubles finding one. But once we choose, we cannot look back. We cannot think that the contemporary or modern saint elders or saints were able just to flip a switch in their soul and body to change their habits and quench their passions with little or no effort. It took a lot of work a lot of perseverance, but the one common theme for them to attain holiness is the obedience to their spiritual father and practicing their words all the time, fully. If we haven't found a spiritual father to guide us in this present time, let us try to find a holy saint which we can imitate and follow in complete obedience. If you need a guidance, 
on where to start or which thing to read and follow, I know that Father Miron will always be able to give you a good advice. Glory to Jesus Christ.